I'm done now. Do you find them both? Yep. What did we... what was the last thing we did again? Oh, well I have to go speak with Hien. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm on the same step. What are these fruit cakes? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to take the dog dude there. Uh, yeah, take, just take the dog dude there. I'll be back quick second again. I'm waiting at the guy. Have you done any of these quests yet? Nope. You haven't delivered the thing to Mordona? No.
Do you get science theme orchestrated? Yep. Open wide now. Please to you. I'm not so frail that I cannot feed myself. Ah, I grow weary of the taste of gruel. You don't like it? Can I fetch you something else? Hi, wine! Or if that is not wholesome enough, I don't know. A sweet persimmon from Namai? I enjoyed them in my youth. A persimmon? Nay, pay me no mind. I am full. Besides, we have guests. We are not interrupting your meal. We had heard you were confined to bed and thought you might welcome some visitors. Confined to... A gross exaggeration. A trifle drained from my exertions, perhaps. But with a little rest, I shall be fighting fit again in no time. Take off your clothes. Gosetsu, is this how you've been spending your time? My lady, I assure you, this is not. Off with them. We need to wash you. You stink. What are all these scars? There are so many of them. A life of battle will leave its mark upon a man. Is something wrong to you? It's nothing. I'm fine. But leave me be, woman. I will not be fussed over like some newborn babe. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my sponge bath? Alpha Lord's gonna give you a sponge bath. Please no.
You fools. I remember we could still come back. I feel like she's gonna get her memories back and she's just gonna stab fucking... What's his face in the back? See that guy again? Alpha node? No. Shit, I don't know if that lasagna was enough, man. What are you saying? You saying it's time for some McDevilobry? Oh my. And and since no closed gate will hold me back anymore. <laughs> They don't ring the doorbell, do they? No, I, I tell them to I tell them to knock, but generally I, I wait for them so that when they come up, I open the door before they knock. Heh. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not gonna run with Tom's. There'll be plenty of that next week when Mom's not here. Oh my lord. Oh my. Uh oh. I know what she's doing. <laughs> Do you know what she's doing? No. She's gonna get that stupid persimmon he was asking for. Oh. Yeah, I have to choose one of these. Hmm. <laughs> I chose casting. What's scouting and aiming? Scouting is ninja, aiming is bard, machinist, whatever. Dancer. Yeah, I might as well go for my ninja stuff. You could get healing for your white mage. Well, ah, too late. <laughs> okay. This guy with his frickin' Ryumaku gear. Oh, automatic teleport. No, my dome and music.
How are you so far ahead of me? Huh? I tend to load faster for some reason. Wait, did you go to the manor? Yeah. Oh, okay, just checking. Search here! Search here! No, no, search there. They seem to be doing this way too often. Eh, whatever. Well, this gotta be the place. Greetings. Might I have one of your... Wait! Please! I only wanted a persimmon! Kami, save us! Her spirit has returned! She's back from the dead to seek her revenge! It can't be. She couldn't have survived. What did I... What did I do? As if you don't know! Good people of Namai. Be at ease, I pray you. You have naught to fear. My lord, forgive me, but what is that monster doing here? They told us she was dead! I too was surprised to learn of her survival. More even than you, I would hazard. Twas I who cut her down, I who left her to her fate. But it would seem the Kami had other plans. By some miracle, both she and Gosetsu were spared when the keep collapsed, though Yotsugu's preservation came at the cost of her memory. You're saying she's forgotten? Forgotten everything she's done? Lies! Lies! My lord, she would say anything to escape punishment! What does it matter? We have not forgotten her crimes, and we demand justice! I beg of you, Lord Hien, draw your blade and rid us of this canker! Oh. 
What I saw then, it's all true. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. You're sorry. I'm not. We're supposed to forgive you. Here, there's no need to cry. Can't you see how scared she is? How can you be scared of her? She's not the same. Until such time as her memories return, this woman shall be known as Tsuyu and treated as a citizen of Doma. I will, however, see that she is watched at all times. Rest assured that there will be no more unannounced visits to the village. As your lord, I ask that you leave her fate in my hands and suffer her to live for now. Please, Issei. All right. I'll keep my peace. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters. Come, Ryan, it's time to greet the weirdo. Oh, Lord. Shit, I'm actually getting pretty hungry now. Time for McDelivery! No. What a pleasure it is to see you once more, Lord Hien. Not to mention my dear sister. A pleasure to see you too, Ambassador. Forgive us our late arrival. You have our people aboard the airship? Nope. Exactly as agreed. We would leave you in no doubt as to the purity of our intentions. I dare say it was the self-same spirit of cooperation which prompted you to bring Yotsuyu here today. 
Indeed. Before excluding her from the exchange, I thought it only fair that you see her condition for yourself. Physically, she is in fine health, but her mind is unchanged. So I see. But all need not necessarily be lost. In anticipation of this tragic turn of events, I took the liberty of inviting some special guests. Ah, Yatsuyu. You look... well. <laughs> of all the people... Is something wrong, dear sister? These are our beloved parents. Does not the sight of them bring back sweet childhood memories? Seem my little surprise was not sufficient. You needn't glare at me so, Lord Hien. I merely did what any loving son would do for his family. Lest you doubt, I am content to leave the acting viceroy in your care. Pray, treat her as you would any daughter of Dorma. Do not grow too fond of this place, dear sister. You will come back to us ere long. We continue with the exchange as planned, then. Very good. The structure across the river should serve our needs. We shall await you there with the conscripts. If you would bring your captives. Agreed. Until then, Ambassador. I'm pretty sure they're in those fucking sarcophagus looking thingies. What? I'm not there yet, man.
Gosetsu, are you awake? My lord, come in, come in. What the fuck? When I got a cutscene? Returned, her eyes were red from weeping. Uh, I'm talking to Gosetsu right she now. She spoke not a word. Simply sat and peeled some fruit she'd brought for me. She then claimed weariness and retired to her chamber. Tell me, what happened to upset her so? The ambassador arranged a surprise reunion with her foster parents. A misguided attempt to restore Yotsuyu to her senses. It was plain their presence caused her great distress, but she seemed otherwise unaffected. Yotsuyu was mistreated as a child, was she not? It was a cruel trick to use her tormentors like that, knowing the pain it could cause. Hmm. I like this Asahi less and less. Be that as it may, he has agreed to allow Yotsuyu to remain with us in Dorma. Our primary concern now is to hand over the prisoners without incident and bring our people safely home. There was one other detail at the meeting which caught my attention. I assume you all noticed the rather suspect crates within the castrum. The Imperials were quick to retrieve them afterwards, but I wonder. Out with it, brother. You fear they might contain bombs or war machines? If the Ambassador wanted me dead, he has had ample opportunity. No, assassination is not his intent, but we should be on our guard for other acts of treachery. Forgive me, but the lady yachts to you. She's gone. Oh, for fuck's sake. Gone? I beg your pardons, my lords. I was certain she'd fallen asleep. Jesus. <laughs> no, no, the responsibility is mine. Twas I who gave her a room instead of a cell. She may simply have wandered outside. We will organize search parties. Might I call upon your assistance? If only I had it remembered. He should hate me.
but I will not suffer his kindness. Not after what I did to him. Who's there? <gasps> oh, it's you. What are you doing out here in the dark? This is the Enclave, is it? When the soldiers dragged us back to Doma, you were the last person I expected to see. You're the bane of our existence, Yotsuyu! A font of misery! You couldn't even do us the simple courtesy of dying, could you? Oh, no. You had to live and taint us with the shame of your failure. We had a perfect life in the capital, and now... They're making us wallow in this muddy ruin like common swine! I don't deserve this! Now, now, dear, that'll do. There seems little point in berating the girl when she scarcely remembers her own name. Our time would be better spent contemplating how we're to survive this unhappy predicament. You've kept your looks, at least. I suspect you'd fetch a handsome price with the right buyout. Maybe enough to get us to Kugani and start a new business. <laughs> ah, my beloved parents. No sooner do I wake from gentle slumber than the world returns in all its cruelty. Yes, this is how it always was. How it was meant to be. Very well. If I cannot escape my nature, then I shall embrace it. To the very depths I have sunk, my soul steeped in spite and rotten to the core. The self-righteous hide behind justice, but I need no such mask. Father, mother, was it not you who made me into this monster? Who taught me the truth of this miserable world? For years I knew naught but the taste of pain and humiliation. But the time has come to savor my vengeance against Dorma. Against all my enemies. And it begins... With you! <laughs> Yotsuyu! <laughs> Well done, dear sister. Did I not say you would come back to us? Brother dearest, what a surprise. You always were a cold-blooded little worm. I doubt you thought twice about sending our parents to their death. Your dagger yet drips with their blood, and you presume to judge me? To be frank, I didn't think you had the strength to slay them so cleanly. A single thrust each. I'm impressed.
But surely you can't be satisfied with murdering a pair of doddering elders. You yearn for a deeper vengeance, and the power to see it through. Any sign of her? What happened here? I knew what would happen if she recovered. And still, I did nothing. You say she left with her brother? Whatever he wants with her, he was willing to pay for it with his parents' lives. But, this is neither the time nor the place. We must gather the others.
Just on the cutscene? Yep. Which part are you on? Uh, I'm waiting in... I'm, I'm waiting in the, uh... Con... Whatever this fucking meeting room is. Uh... I'm on constructs and contingencies. I haven't accepted that oh. yet. I have to inspect all the hull and shit. The what? Have you inspected the hull of the ship? Nope. I think you're ahead of me now. Okay, well, I'm ahead of you then. I was, I was waiting for you. I was kind of waiting. I was like, why is it taking you so long? I thought you were ahead of me. No. Well, I mean, I was, but I was waiting for you. That well, doesn't really matter because we're all gonna end up in the same place anyway.
Uh, I think I might stop here, Richard. I'm being a bit sleepy. Okay. <laughs> Where did you stop? Uh. Because I haven't even gone to the ship part yet. Well, I stopped. The, I just finished the ship part. What, what's your quest? Like, do you have to hand something in? Do you have to pick something up? Yeah, con constructs and con contingencies. I have to speak with Hien back at the Enclave. Let's see. Fuck, man. What are you gonna do? Ah, I got, I got stuff to keep me busy. I fuck. Um, I start doing the those dungeons for my relic on my machinist. Yeah, I might need some assistance on the later dungeons. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, like I, I did snow cloak just fine, but I was already taking a little bit of damage, so I feel like halfway through I'm gonna start need. I'm gonna need, might need someone to tank for me. I also fell asleep at 2 o'clock last night. <laughs> I woke up at 4. You're a fool. I, I went to lie in my bed and I was like, I'm just gonna watch this YouTube video from my bed. And then I woke up at like 4.30 and I was like, ah, shit. Uh, 2, two. you said? Shouldn't you just be going to, going to bed at that time? Well, see, that's the thing. I, I have a tendency to fall asleep anytime past 1.30 now, so... I made sure to brush my teeth and lock up before that, just in case. So, I was a, I was a bit prepared, so when I woke up at 4, I was like, ah, I'm just gonna go to bed. I was already falling asleep when I was doing this snow cloak, so... Oh, there's so much I want to do on F14, it's not enough time. Of course, working, help, working late doesn't help either. What? I'm just going to bed. Night. I don't know, she already left. <laughs> ah, Ryan, I'm not ready for Saturday. Old. I need to do a bit more biking before that, me thinks. Just, just thinking about it's making me tired already. Old. Fuck, I do want some ramen hachi, but damn, man. <laughs> Thing is, 
when we eat at ramen hachi, I tend to eat, like, you know, it's, it's so filling that, like, I get sleepy afterwards. Owned. It's not a good combination. Why not? Because I need to drive afterwards. <laughs> So sleepy. So you bed. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go to bed now, I think. <laughs> Good night. Night. Wait, you're gonna... Do your... you do usually do anything on Tuesdays? What? Yeah, you usually do anything on Tuesdays after work? It's Monday. Tomorrow. Uh, I might go to the gym. What a fool. Okay. Yeah, I gotta cook dinner and then I gotta go to the gym, which takes up most of my evening. Cook? Ryan, the only cooking you do is finger cooking. Well, like, yeah, uh, what does that even mean? It means ordering pizza. I'm dialing a phone number and ordering pizza. No, man. I usually just. I, I, cu I cook most evenings now. Like tonight I cooked. I cooked freaking pasta. Pasta? What kind of pasta? Yeah. Uh, it was just the pre made. Um, what do you call those things? Raviolis. Man. Oh, speaking of pasta, fucking... No, I guess you don't really know. I was gonna ask you, um... Uh, when you cook the olive oil spaghetti, how long do you usually boil the spaghetti for? It says in the box, man. You just follow the box? Yeah. And I don't suppose you know how much olive oil you use. Nope, I just dump a bunch in there. What about basil? Usually it should be like a tablespoon or two. This fucking guy, okay. You usually fry up the prosciutto separately, right? Because dad can't eat that stuff. Yeah, I know. Okay, whatever. Oh fuck, I gotta cook my steak tomorrow. Steak? What the fuck? Yeah. I'm supposed to cook it tonight, but my raviolis were needed to get cooked, so I had to do that instead. Do you have a grill? No. I just pan pan sear it or pan cook. No, I know I know you pan cook it, but do you have a grill? Like a barbecue? Well just a well like a grill, like an outdoor grill. I have a barbecue. Like a small one? Yeah. Oh, Sundays. I don't want to go out on the deck though, it's dirty. Meh. 
Is it still thundery over there? Uh, yeah, th thunderstorms like every other day. Okay. <laughs> Looks to be you, I guess. It's still cloudy here too, huh? Whatever. It's gonna be fucking summer, man. Fuck this weather. Well, I mean, it's here, it's like cloudy, but it's warm enough to be summer, so whatever. It, it's oh, like. It's warm here. It's cloudy, like in the morning, and then by afternoon, it's kind of sunny. It's a little bit sunnier. Anyway, must go to bed. Good night. Good night. Oh hey, dude. Freaking so in those cutscenes my Hrothgar when he turns to like like when he's looking at somebody and then he turns to go look at somebody else, the way his torso moves is fucking weird, man. Yeah. He he has his arms bent and then he doesn't like it just doesn't look natural. He doesn't move his arms when he twists his torso. Well, maybe next time we'll try and stream it, but it just it looks awkward. Trust me. It looks off like Imagine yourself and you're looking straight. You have your arms bent like you're strutting or and then Imagine yourself twisting your whole torso and keeping your arms bent to go look at somebody to the side That's what Oh Wait, you're saying like your whole upper torso just sort of twists like as if it's one piece. Yeah as if it was one piece. Like his arms don't move at all. Mm. It's like bent. Like like it looks freaking awkward. Well, I mean, to be fair, my guy does that too. It just, I think it's just the way these skeletons are rigged. Man, they need to upgrade. It. They need to update their freaking models or something. Like my when, when I turn and look at someone, like just you know how you click when you're clicking on a target, you face your target, right? Yeah. Uh, my guy will turn his head and then slightly twist his torso. I don't know. I'll have to see it. You could probably, you could probably reproduce it just by clicking on targets. You should show me tomorrow. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Also, how much you want to bet those uh, those crates have like dead domains in them? Well, yeah, that's what I was thinking. They got, they probably have the domains, but they're like, I'm, I'm guessing there's some kind of like, zombies or like experiments or something like that. Something, something's up with it. They're in those sarcophagus-looking things. Yeah, definitely this guy's fucking up to something. Yep. Fucking asshole. And I never trusted him from the beginning. Just gonna fucking punch him in the face. Actually, uh, I I kind of feel like we're gonna see another. Remember that guy in the Stormblood campaign, that big guy who got turned into like some sort of fucking experiment. So sorry, you cut off at the last sentence. Remember in the Stormblood campaign that that guy that kept coming up in the campaign. He's like. Come like him in the what? He kept popping up in the story. Okay. You know, you know the guy I'm talking about, right? Like the, the guy, the Imperial dude. He's like... I don't know what you're talking about. The the guy who's always like patrolling or, you know, he's, he's an Imperial Rogadin guy. And then you would like come along and foil his plans. Oh, that guy. He's like the big idiot, okay. right? And he got turned into yeah. like an experiment. Uh, I, yeah. I somehow think something similar is going to happen to Yotsuyu. Yeah, probably. He's gonna he's gonna give oh, her I something. I wouldn't doubt it. He's gonna give her something, and it's gonna like turn into something like some kind of crazy monster thingy or something. I don't know. That's my guess. I, I have a feeling that's probably what's gonna happen. Yeah, something like that, or give her the echo or some shit. Uh, whatever. I, I feel like we're gonna have to fight her at some point. Probably. Uh. Yeah, that's a pretty good. This is pretty good. Uh, Pretty good chance it's gonna happen. Cause I know I know there's there's some kind of duty coming up, so Or like a like a dungeon? I don't know if it's a dungeon or if it's a if a single fight, so that's that's why I'm saying something might be coming up. Shit. 
Yep, it's gonna be it's gonna come up before the end of this next segment, so that's probably what it is. Yeah, right. Alright, I'm gonna go to bed. Uh good night. Good night.